Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, and just before part 41 starts here with Meta Knight and the boss battle and all that stuff, I needed to come back here and get the one last treasure I missed in Stellar Way, which is right over here off the little planet that has a hollow opening in it that you hang off of, and here's the treasure. And it is, um, a rocket bed. Sleeping in this bed may cause dreams of being a space case. <laughs> That's funny. So punny. Wow, this is kind of precarious platforming here, but... Or yeah, so I just need to show that off because I didn't actually get that in the last level, or in the last episode. And I felt so stupid watching myself in editing because I'm like, dude, there's stars right down there, there's something there, so... Yeah, there you go. In case you were wondering, and now, on with the show! Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome you to episode 41 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn, and we're gonna take on Meta Knight now! Oh, I'm so scared because I've never actually done this battle, I have no idea what to expect here. But let's just go in charging. Guns blazing, man. Hooey! Mm, I look a little loud on the recording there. What? Is Mega Man like. <laughs> Mega Man. Is Metal Meta Knight shivering? What? Oh my god. Okay, uh, this looks a little bit scary. What am I supposed to do? Is there supposed to be. <laughs> I can't believe it just thrust me into this fight like that. That was so quick. Do I have to grab that? thing? That plasma wave or something? Okay, I'm a little bit confused here. Confuddle already. Alright, oh, yes, okay, that's good, that's good. That is beautiful. Yes, sweet. One hit in. Well, actually, that's one hit in. I guess you have to actually sling him after you hit him, as is the case with most, bo most bosses. Oh, he's got a blue one now, oh my god. <laughs> I sounded like an old man there for a second. A blue one! A blue one, Jimmy! Oh god, <laughs> that was a bit scary. These are a bit faster, I see. And Midnight himself is a bit faster, too. Oh, I thought I hit him there for a second. I'm like, what? No, he hit me. So, um, oh, here we go. This ought to be good. Just jump over that and, oh man, he actually sliced that out of the air. I saw someone comment earlier saying that uh, on their first try against Met uh, Meta Knight, then they, they probably didn't even get bronze, so I'm a little bit scared by that on its own. Oh, can I get this? Dude, you fire- you had him clear in your line of sights and you fired the wrong direction. You know, I'm flying backwards. What the hell? Okay, so he's gonna shoot two. He's got a pattern now that I can actually see. There we go. And now grab him, sweet! Alright, not doing too bad so far. Is this gonna be the standard three hits? Like, three phases? kind of thing. Because if so, this is the last phase with his purple sword of- Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! That was awesome. Alright, shoot, dude. I, I, I'm i not concentrating on his attacks because I'm concentrating on getting my beads back. That is one deadly strike when he does that. Oh my god, he downward thrusted me! Oh my god, I don't believe that's, that's hilarious. Especially considering the LPs that I'm doing right now. Wait, is that something on the ground there? Hold- Shoot. Man, this guy is tearing me apart. I managed to keep... Oh, pst, holy crap. Alright, fuck, please. Oh, shoot, 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 Dude, I all... Man, that thing has a hell of a range. Oh, and it almost hit me again. No, dude, crap. Oh my god. Alright, I can see where this could be a bit of a challenge. Yeah, at first didn't seem so bad, but... Oh, yes, okay, sweet. That was beautiful. Alright, is he still fighting fit? Well, I'm at gold, but I have to get beyond gold in the boss fight, because... Yeah. Oh, he's got a red sword now. This is fire or something? Uh, I don't know what to do! <laughs> oh my god. That didn't hit me. I, I, I thought... Was it supposed to hit me? Oh, that was... That was a lucky hit, I guess. No, crap! Ah, uh, I was concentrating on the beads, because I didn't know if that would be the last chance I had to get beads or not. Alright. Uh, I stood here last time, and it seemed to work out rather well in my favor, so, as it did again there. Yes, okay, sweet. Alright, I'll uh, just get him. Is that it? Huh. <laughs> well, that was actually not as hard as I expected. That was epic, though. I especially love the music there. Man, I was kind of hoping for a fail montage, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, well. We had a good fight against him. Nice try, Meta Knight! But my schlong is bigger than yours, I suppose. Oh my god, I've got over 100,000 bees. Look at that. 109,666. 
Yeah, you need Night music and the satellite patch. That sounds powerful. Sort of. Alright, so what happens now? Because this is like the boss of the last world that we I know it. of, so... We got the magic yarn. This might be a little bit different of a scene the this time. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. Yeah, I'm just gonna be quiet here just because I'm not even sure what's gonna happen. Oh! Oh my god, we strung the whole world together! And Patchland was stitched back together thanks to Kirby and Prince Fluff. So we did it, right? We went. We, do we win? Thanks, Kirby. I couldn't have done it without your help. Kirby and Prince Fluff jumped for joy, but their celebration was cut short when Meta Knight awoke. Kirby, forgive me. I blame the yarn. Meta Knight <laughs> explained to Kirby <laughs> that the yarn That's the funniest was taking over ever. Dreamland. This upset Kirby. He had no idea how to get back to Dreamland. I've got it, Fluff declared. Prince Fluff pulled out a sock just like the one Yin Yarn had stolen from Patch Castle. Socks always come in pairs, and now that Patch Land was stitched back together, the other sock's magic had been restored. Be careful, Kirby. Yin Yarn is one mean piece of string. He'll be fine. After all, I'm going with him, Fluff said, and they all set out for Dreamland to button up Yin Yarn's story once and for all. Oh, Dee Dee Dee! <laughs> Always lagging behind with his fat ass. Alright, so, am I, do I not have a choice? Do I have to go here now and do this, or can I actually go do other levels first? Wait, whoa. So this is actually Dreamland now. We're not in the yarn world, but we're still made of yarn, which is scary. Alright, yeah, so I can go back here, so that's good. Wow. <laughs> so that's how they attached one last world to this place. They made it in Dreamland, oh my god. I could not have seen that coming. I, I don't know why I couldn't have seen that coming. Ooh, that's cool. Man, that's cool, though. I don't even know. Let's go to Spaceland, though. Whoa! That's scary, oh my god, because now I'm all off-center. And I can do that. <laughs> cool. Anyways, let's go, yeah, let's go. To sp Man, that was that was pretty epic. I gotta admit, not gonna lie there. All right, and satellite. I can't even imagine what this is gonna do. Is it gonna unravel that planet there or unweb that planet? <laughs> I guess so. Okay. Cool. And that's going to unlock another, I guess, a special stage, a Kaizo stage. I don't know, these stages always seem harder. The ones that you unlock after the boss. Moon base. Ooh. That sounds a little bit disturbing. Alright, uh, I, th I have a little bit of time left here, I think. I don't have enough time for a level, I think, so I'm just going to go ahead and head to Quilly's. I can't get over that now, how I'm all off-center on the map screen there. That's so annoying all of a sudden. Well, it's not annoying, it's just like totally different. It's a, it's a perspective that you don't normally see. Did I unlock a hide and seek? I don't think I did. I know I unlocked some mini games around here. I just don't think this is one of them. Ah, oh, no. I'm sorely mistaken. God, why do I sound so loud on that Audacity recording? I'm using a new, like, kind of Audacity to record this episode, so I don't know how, it's, how exactly it's going to turn out. I did, like, one test recording before, and that was only, like, a few seconds long, so... Hopefully we'll be good. Alright, be a dr Yeah, here we go. I don't know if I have enough time in the episode for this. I'm gonna have to cut out some of that stuff at the beginning, though, so... With the treasure hunting in Stellar Way. And now we've got more treasure hunting in Stellar Way. 320 beads. That's a kind of a stupid number. But I'll roll with it. 2 to the power of 5 times 10 is 320 beads. Did you know that? I did. That's why I just said it. <laughs> I don't know why that's interesting or pertinent at all, but... There you There it is. Alright, so I remember that this up heat Crap. That was the perfect time for that stupid thing to come in the, and disrupt me there. Alright, so I'm at... Can I just get, like, all the beads from these... Oh, God, we don't have much time, though. Not at all. But this does look like how you're supposed to do it, because each of these gives you, like, five beads or ten or something. Yeah, they each give you ten. But I'm not going to make it this time. I'll, I'll, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, crap, I ran out. They've ran out of beads there. I was almost... Oh, wait, what? 
Damn, I don't know why it keeps freezing like that. Like, after certain mini games, it just freezes up for a second. But only like a split second, and everything just goes quiet and deadly. It's a little scary. Alright, 300. I think I got this this time now that I brought the swing of things. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Yeah! Do op, do op, do. That's the stupidest thing. Oh my god, when they do that in that song, when they start going. When, I know that's like one of the most famous parts of the thing when they with the do ops, but I just think it's so stupid. Of course, I I can't say anything because I can't say that I've ne never done that sort of thing where I just spout out random nonsense things as lyrics or whatever. Like do op, do op, do op, do op, do op, do op, do op. It's just I don't I don't even get it, man. And I like that kind of music too, like the jazzy sort of feel, as I've said a million times before. But I just can't get into the duops. I don't know. All right, that was pretty good. Oh, another one! Wow. Wait, where could that possibly be? Because Stellar Stage, Stellar, Stellar Way, Stellar K was the last one that we just unlocked, that, or that we just played through. Is it the Midnight Stage? Oh my God, that'd be funny. Milky Way Fabric. <laughs> Stringing together Sir Kirby and science here. Alright, I've got to be out of time by now. I just want to see. Dino Jungle. That's weird. It's so weird when they always like backtrack to certain levels in these minigames. Anyways, uh, so next time I guess we'll be taking on Moon Base out in Spaceland. And uh, if we have time after that, we'll probably do some minigames or something. I don't know. All I know is that this map screen is so strange looking now. I feel like I'm playing Super Kirby Galaxy all of a sudden. So, thank you everyone for watching this this pseudo finale episode, I guess. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.